afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to a one versus one on Holotny Fatima in the West. It is PFC. Funny here for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Not creative name, but rather PFC. Funny here for the. Oh, let's just go with 23rd Panzer Schirmers. These days, who run Bartertown? Fighting for the Soviet Union, Socialism, Comrade Stalin. And the 6th Mechanized Corps, we got here, Elite Troops, we got Strategic Service, and we got Mechanized Assault with Triple Tiger Bolt and Twin One for Tiger Race, that is. Versus Advanced Warfare Tactics, a rare one here with T 35 Radio Intercept, Assault Tactics for the Conscripts, Repair Kits for the Conscripts. And Sturmovic runs with rockets specifically. We got Tumblr there for Hulun Bartitan. We got Double Confident Engineer start there for him. Versus Gunner the MU42 for Creative Name. Pioneer Second Southfords. MU42 coming up this one. We got Gunner the Northfords there. Interesting opening approach here from. Not oh, Creative PFC, damn it. Gotta get used to that. My name is PFC here. With a southern approach. Normally you'd focus from the western player hard north here. In particular, secure this area. But. PFC instead is actually focusing south quite aggressively. The main body of his forces being this fast south as the machine and the pioneers. That's definitely not an opening you see typically on Holt and Ophelma. So, very interesting opening there. Who run about time? Even up to three conscripts there. There'll probably again be at least a fourth one since, I mean, he's clearly looking to take advantage of just getting a lot of sub machine guns going here. Second is almost done there for creative name. Oh, PFC, damn it. Pioneers and yourself, let's say. Further oh, sent to but in the south, before they're ready to deal with the assault, then, like, I mean, two don't battle to be ready for this because normally most players will not play like this. That's likely what PFC is banking on. More gunners out there for PFC. Cuts going skirmishing here. Should be with for the gun so it might take a bit of a while here. Machine gun need to be careful. There you go. Caught here by the engineers. Could be a bit awkward. Pioneers could go for the car pot. Try to down to assist the MU 42. Single needs going north. It's there for PFC and the German army. Fourth conscript down the way for. Who would about to there go? PFC's machine gun sets up. A few seconds too slow. We'll have to retreat here. Pioneers versus conscripts. Not a good engagement there. Either up north here. The skirmishing between the gunners and the conscripts. Very slowly. Third gunners caught there for PFC and the German army. The 23rd Panzer is shown. Who would about to quickly land on sandbags here? And sandbags there. Very consistent sandbagging overall. Pioneers pressing for the car point. Bow maneuver there by PFC. Looking to distract his opponent. But prevent from pushing too far into his own territory. The third community score almost done. Fourth country score there also out here for who run battles on versus PFC pioneers routed. And there you go, third gun leads court ready. Of course, who done battles and knows all thanks to radio intercept as long as he's listening. If he isn't, obviously he's not gonna matter. Constant moving ahead here, sandbags up on the cup on there by or center victory upon there by who run button again? Very consistent sandbagging. Thumbs up to that. Bit of a look ability by some sort of players. Gunners moving up here. Third country going up here. Next fourth. Then he's taking going for a fifth. Good lord. Tech up there for PFC. But a five country build is definitely on the rarer side. Despite, you know, again, you'd figure they'd be more popular with this 54. He's blocked the same man. to upgrade. Get the state with getting the fellow active girls for it. These because he's going for sub machine guns. So, interesting build there as well. From who run button has created PFCs. Damn it. Opening there. Pioneers kept said that would like to make a nice company. And he's holding out there. Up north, we got Gunners with the conscripts. Slowly bleeding them out. Very good. Got the northern fuel secured as well. No like to make a nice company yet. Could planning Pentagon to do this here. And certainly, versus a five conscript build. A Pentagon to do this called will be you think, an invaluable asset here versus who run Battle Town for PFC. Like to make a nice company yet. So no Pentagon there. I mean, like because of course, also did the trick. Back in who run Battle Town's base. Nothing further going on there as of yet. He is three quarters of a command point away there from the second one he needs to then unleash the assault tactics there upon PFC. Comes holding up in the south, like to make a nice company done. And of course, who run battle town, of course, knows. Up north there, moving about there, trying to keep troops out down with the contraport there. Well, then, of course, trying to just hit the northern resources. Not bad there, who run battle town. Medics up. And certainly with that many countries short, you definitely want some medics. In the south here, countries dealing with the advancing grenadiers. Very, very close now to the uh, submachine upgrade there for who done battle and PFC's gonna lead some pioneers sweep southwards. Could soon go for a Panther Gonadier Squad, maybe go for a pack 40. And of course, maybe just say up for 251 or the uh, 222. 
all of our blocks and I think they're for PFC we got the second doctor chosen it is elite troops for PFC key for the future of the Gunners stormtroopers also an option there we got a medic banner up the base Could definitely not hurt go to northern point here support and company up there for who a run of barter town comes to advance for the south here we got a small victory point lead here for who don't bat on a pfc for now we got 441 this is 173 to the two there for pfc and the german army the 23rd panzer division normal fuel being hit in the south comes coming up there and there you go we are at the point here we can now begin upgrading his consoles with submachine guns love to see once he does that, but I'd think if you go for a five counts good build with this kind of doctrine, you are definitely intending to crit with the submachine guns. It would be a bit peculiar not. I mean, you, you don't have to, but it would be kind of makes sense. But in all, just floating so many munitions, so you can't expect him like just begin to soon just flood the field with you know cheap submachine guns. Two two setting out there for creative name. Rushing down the console is going to need anti tank grenades to back them up or a field gun. We do get into tank grenades on the way. There's still no sound of the shot machine guns yet here, though, for who done bad time, which still is, feels a bit weird there. And to tank grenades ready. Still no sound of the PPS H41, which is based off the PPD 40, which is made by the same guy that made the DP light machine gun. But it was rather expensive and tricky to manufacture, so Spargen made a more simplified version. I believe of it that it will work quite as well if not better in some regards both of those submachine guns also make use of a well more or less copied finnish machine gun magazine that is the drum magazine there though they couldn't quite make it to the same quality of finish because they mass produced them so there are issues with the magazines which meant that basically well consequently being right about the tutorial we'll talk about that a bit later being hunted down there aggressively still those submachine guns i'm a bit surprised at this again like you just feel like if you're going for that many conscripts and you go for the doctor and the sub machines you want them out as fast as likely possible but who run battle and seem to have a different perception of time possibly in this regard oh to do being pushed back getting hammered over to tank grenades and be careful here north we got continues moving back no flame for us either for the country it's actually floating a ton of munitions here in the early end it feels a bit awkward there dude is about to go down part of almost done there for pfc he's also i believe lost the Grenadier squad yes indeed quite a blow there to German army morale. We got the Panzer Committees out there. We'll have to see what PFC does with them. Contra being suppressed. Charging head of anything. Hold up with MD42. Close one there for PFC. And with respect to the submachine gun, again, due to the whole mass produced nature of them, they were basically not very good with that. The issues with magazines actually fitting, and usually spare magazines would not fit the submachine. They had to make use of the one they started with. So when the issues there, they'd be stuck. So they switched out to a stick magazine, but even they, due to again the whole mass production nature, still have to some degree. The same issues with the magazines not always actually fitting into the magazine welds of the submachine gun. So, little fun fact there. Longer fun fact, in fact. But yeah, that's war for you. And generally, just, you know, design and weaponry and such, they would send not to get delved into a lot. And as Panzer moving over to here for PFC and the German army, the Panzer Grenadier. Equipped with the mighty Sturmgewehr 44. A weapon so potent that when they did initial trials for it, around, I think, roughly 1943. They're supposed to be done in two rounds, but pretty much it sort of went after like the first round of trials. It kind of went, you know, Jürgen, this thing's pretty good. Yeah, I think we just moved straight ahead to product producing seas. They didn't quite because of Hitler, but you know. And there's lots of machine guns going up here. Mirroring, by the way, the story tells a uh, gradual evol evolution there of s firearms in the for the Soviet infantry, where roughly by 1944 45, Half of all the infantry weapons in a division or corps or whatever were actually sat machine guns, like they went heavily in on them. So a little fun fact there. Alright, got the PV41 building comes going in against the Panzer Grenadiers, a bit more risky than empty with a bung grenade. There you go, one squad routed, other squad getting up close, you have a chance of the P41 runs up and the Panzer is up close. Heavy damage being inflicted on both sides and then the Panzer will have to retreat. Pioneers has more conscripts, these big swarming conscript talks there. Well, not quite swarming yet, but suddenly has the possibility of conscript guns. Here, but G for the FIFA's the conscript with that range. Didn't quite survive that one. Conscript being suppressed by the machine gun bunker, I believe. Well, no, oh, just the machine gun. Hold it here as well. Double machine guns out for PFC. Probably a good read. Um, who run bounty? A good realization that with so many conscripts with machine guns, 
He's going to need some machine guns, some of his own of a heavier kind, to actually you know, hold them back. Oh, it's a good risk being simply overwhelmed. Meanwhile, Hooder and Barton has pushed straight ahead for the mechanized armor company and can probably soon end up pushing out for T34. 76, I think, would be a good push initially, but you can also swap with 85, so they may just go straight for the E5. All the way, it's going to be a bit tough there for PFC, who does not have any anti tank weapons as of yet. Fix up the, oh, setting up the mechanized armor company there, 2 to 2. He's actually going for a second one. I mean, he's probably not expecting his opponent to be rushing out T-34s this fast, which is why he's going for 2-2s. Two to I mean, if he had this idea of what his opponent was doing, he would not be committing to that. Because, I mean, 2-2-2s two, two two was the t 34 and 6 with t 35 will fall a bit short. Our troops are here, I mean, forcing your from the expect push for the Red Army. Constable hiding about here, going to do some answer with T-34s and car 90 ks 2 2 Norfolk's machine covering out the center. Having the far northern victory point there. Comes holding up here as well. We got 332 versus 164 so far. We run bad time, babes. You know, just have a victory point leader with a PFC quite nicely. Got the southern point here. No support call yet. And again, very crucially, no pack 40 either. I mean, eh? right now, who run bad time could push for a fast T34 from 6. And that would likely be right now the best choice because PFC is going to be completely just floored by it. I mean, he's who done bad who's been listening should be aware. His opponent hasn't taked up. He doesn't even have pack 40. So while he could try and sell up for T-35, I think the overall better choice right now just go for the T-34 from 6 because that just can be faster. It's going to make it harder for a PFC to realize what's going on, set up a counter for it, and just, you know, beat him down silly. Whereas, again, the longer he waits for getting to any armor, the more likely PFC is going to catch on to the fact that who done bad is planning something bigger than just, you know, a T-70. Oh, we could see what happened there in the MD42. No, misses an opportunity there to try and pursue the Panzer. That big miss there by Hoover and Bartertown could have taken out that MD42 and secured it for his own. Well, for the Soviet Union's good. They're definitely a mistake there, I think, by Hoover and Bartertown. 2 2 pushing back the country there. Back here, troops are enforcing. We got, I think, the tech there for PFC now. But even then, it's still giving me some time off to get out any of it. Though, of course, he may also now be more incentive to have pack 40 out to deal with whatever may come next. So, again, I feel like. While the T-35 of course is not a bad choice here, it's just not the optimal choice, I would say, for uh, who run back down here. And it's just aggressive patrolling here on the main road for any sort of infantry, and of course, peppering them with lead and auto cannon fire if they do appear. T-35 on the way for who run back down the Red Army, comes out taking down from the 2 to 2s PFC and the German Army push it, and there you go, out of cannon fire again on the console as they push ahead, trying to hide up behind shrubbery, in the hopes the 2 to 2s don't blast away through that. Like a very aggressive type of German gardening. Going straight for the car on there. Of course, PFC looking to disrupt the resource flow. Heat, TFF almost done. Still no sign of anything there. We got mines up here. S mines around the car point. Again, PFC right now has zero anti tank weapons. This is going to be a bit explosive, to put it mildly. So there you go, TFF out. We'll have to see how. PFC handles this because again I can't quite escape the feeling this could get a bit ugly for him. Of course, if he managed to somehow pants fast slow down by more time, it could still work out, but there we go. Big sword infant sort here from P or who run Batam straight through PFC's lines. T5 they're rolling ahead here for the Red Army. 2 2 falling back. T5 just barges ahead. He's gonna have to go for the pack 40 now. And send the armor piercing rounds. Plinking off the front slum of the T45. There maybe a single shot heading the driver. And giving him a bit of a nasty scratch, but there you go. Shot, they almost lost out the MD42 crew with a single hit from the 85 of the gun. And there you go, machine gun finishes off the last man there, opening up there for Hoover and Barton to seize the machine gun. Lost a country squad though elsewhere, thinks the Panzer have wiped them out. Oh dear, yes indeed. In fact, looks like several squads were almost wiped out. Wow, Hoover and Barton was not paying attention, bunched up his men and got punished. Big time. Holy smokes. Very unfortunate missed out on that one, but uh, as we can see there, that clearly hurt. He's still going to grab the MD42, but still, by causing such massive infantry loss there to Hugon Pakistan, PFC nonetheless been able to buy himself some time to bring out you know, into tank weapons and armor. So yeah, be careful you don't get to a conflict in situations like these, and you leave yourself open to a hell of a bomb grenade. Holy sauerkraut. 2-2 two, two pack there, Panzer's moving out, 21 kills. Hey Jürgen, do you think we'll get an Iron Cross for this? We may even get two. And he's setting out here, 
attack going on there so he's just pushing straight ahead he is fearless here pfc he is fearless he knows no fear of the soviets defaulting south foot so again maybe it was slightly bugs but again that bun grenade i mean anyone would be feeling pretty confident after that then he's being hammered here by the t foot for five kills so far down to three men forced retreat in the face of who run battered and armed assault Who's made up getting the comes out in the open? Veteran 2 and Veteran 2 1. We got 5 and 9 kills there. So, yeah, tier 4 ready. I'm guessing he's planning for a Tiger race right away. I mean, really bullish play there with PFC. And again, I suspect partly just spawned off the in that massive bundle grenade. That really, that must have been one of like the best bundle grenades this year so far. You see a mindful under five for an MV42, a thankless job there, but someone has to do it. And another MV42 there, a Fort PFC to replace the one lost. He of course still knows that Hudan Barton of the infantry is caused quite a threat, so he's not taking that lightly. MV42 they're about to hit by the 2 2 2. We got 304 versus 408. The dude shoots through the hedges, at least tries to, but doesn't quite land a hit. And there you go. No, he goes to the Zapoma call, so he is not going straight for a Tiger Ace here, perhaps realizing that would be a bit silly. Instead, the uh, Paul sent something else. Like the Appendix 4, of course, a Stu could all. Actually, Stu probably better as the T Foot of Advance, possibly any others that uh, Hudan Bartan may hold out against him. Telemine down there as well. Good spot there by Creative Name, as long as he doesn't get caught on it himself, as it is a bit of a transport note that he's sort of minded on. Gotta be careful about those things. And before to come out in the north, T-35, they're good to go once more for who run Bata Town. Molotov's out there for him. Interesting pick here. That certainly helps in flashing out as a point of him in position. I think he's going to retreat there. They're about to get white. Yeah, that's looking like a white there. If you're not careful, T-35, we got north engaging the punch behind the church. Seven kills, yeah, another white there on Hulgan Bata. Need to be careful this infantry. Needs to be very cautious. They are, after all, not quite what the propaganda makes them out to be. Double mortars now, huh? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of support with machine guns here from Creative Name, but so there's a bit ready to opponents just commit to double mortars to deal with that. Not necessarily bad. Not necessarily bad at all, but a bit surprising. Just a bit. Our uh, first mortar down there for Hudak Bata, of course, might be misclicked. I only wanted one, but I could send him going to heal with this. I will get as many mortars as I need and I will smash the fascists. Oh, yeah, he counts it. So, yeah, clearly he went for too many there. He could consider being a field gun and set to provide himself with a bit of anti tank support, but of course, also artillery support. He's also still got a lot of munitions. I'm actually surprised that Hudan Bartan is not actually laying down a lot of mines here versus PFC. Feels like a bit of an oversight there by Hudan Bartan. Bit of an oversight. Pantaform is down there for PFC and the German army. Not the optimal choice here, I would say, but we'll have to see how it pans out nonetheless. As long as the pun doesn't make up more T foot fights, which he can, or a field gun to back it up. Put those up. No, he's trying to clear up lines of fire here to make it harder to. Or heighten the church, I suppose. And technically, the ultimate in some ways is for about to use the church against him, but he can also just more effective clear that, I guess. I don't know there what the exact planning by this is. T5 moving out here, 7 kills, close to Veteran 2 1. This is the divisional field gun before the T35. We got the Pentacle Strike in the south, the engaging conscripts, causing some casualties there. Two men snuffed out. Continuing about T6 kills, destroying sandbags. A thankless job. And apparently, the job of the armored car to do that. And then the Panzerboy just moves into dry over, just wasting all the effort the armored car put into it. Mortar there, good to go for who run bad at time. We got an infamous Norfords. Decent hit there, I suppose. Might want to get the mortar up to support the northern push instead. Seems a bit stranger than it is in the south. Panzerboy strike force back up the pack and the two different Gunnadiers. Good push there by PFC so far, at least. Of course, they can put the chain contact to deal with the Gunnadiers. T45 taking a few hits. Katrusha rocket launch now for. Who run Bartan? Not sure she wouldn't go for another tank here. 
But here we are. He's going for the Katusha Rocket Lord. That way he blasts his way through creative name support weapons and infantry. Come to squat that to get wiped out. Need to retreat and more repositioning. In fact, it's fully retreating. Up north, it's continued pressure here from Hudon Battle, which is clearly being deflected there by PFC. Damn it. Katusha Rocket Lord is there for Hudon Battle Town. Another pack folder there for PFC. Possibly indicating now a tiger race stall here for the Germans. For Deutschland. Back here to continue enforcing. Three foot five could do with some repairs here from Hudon Battle Town. There we go, okay, choose your rocket launcher done there. Shattering fences, but no defenses as of yet. And saying pack 40 out there, Monji Pani as well there for PFC. T5 coming in, of course, not fully repaired to assist them before two, there were the Panzer Force on the big spot, like as well by PFC. Shot fire bounced. Feel like Hudon Barton has lost some momentum now. Creative name or PFC is dug in more effectively. And Hudon Barton seems to be struggling with this fact and his uh, tactical prowess has slightly dipped off as well, I feel like. Panther 4, they engage the mortar crew. Feel gonna open up. They could hit on the Panther 4. Gonna do swing with Pioneers. What calls a pack 40 backing it all up. Mortar needs reposition, I think. Or at least needs an infantry screen there. Don't do this moving about. Part of the season, the southern victory point. Meaning all three are now in the control there of PFC and the German army. The 23rd Panzer de Journey versus the 6th mechanized. Got a lot of munitions still flow there for Udon Barton. Again, I'm surprised at this massive amount of manpower flow and munitions flow. Nothing being done with it. Like mines, air support, anything really could be used, I think, effectively here by Udon Barton. Telemine goes off in the conscript, causing staggering casualties. Good work there by PFC. Let's grant their food on Barton. Of course, he may be planning to set up for some rocket strafes here, I guess. And so far, nothing is happening in that department. Country Express in the center. Kachusha rocket launchers should be able to find to the machine gun position in the building. In the south, pushing off the bashes there. Field gets good on the Panther 4. Comes up to press. 2 2 flanking there, but about to get knocked up in the T 5 going in aggressively. And there we go, armor cut down here for PFC Panthers on the T45 field gun falling back here. Katusha rocket launcher remains as silent as the grave. Joseph reinforcing healing. Another hit on the T45 from a German anti tank gun. And there you go, Katusha rocket launcher fires. Right after the pack 40 there, I guess, but already has moved on. The unfortunate there for. Who run Barton quick pull back because you're realizing it could be rushed down by an armored can destroyed. Keep off to bring further pull back into the base. To reinforcing healing. Again, the lack of mines also makes it easier for PFC just to push ahead. Since he effectively doesn't have to worry about anything exploding under his men or support weapons or vehicles. Panther 4 moving ahead here for PFC. Close to one of the Panther 4. Another T5 on the way there for Who run Barton Town. Mortar firing down. Chief of there, good to go. Could soon go for another Panzer IV, could go for Stu, could go for an Oswin. No, could of course try and stall out here for the Tiger Race, which could give Hudon Barton time to figure out what he wants to do now instead of, you know, actually carry out that plan. All the way he's getting halfway down there with the second T-35-5. Which is your rocket launch, is almost to go, to, to go there for Mr. Barter Town, Pioneer's in for the Southern Nation, for Southern Victory Point lost again. We got 3 and 4 versus 293. Machine guns, field gun, control advancing here. And there goes, second T-4 already there. In the south, the Pioneer's routed by Hulden Barterson's armored might. A, unit, a solitary unit thing, Norfolk's there for Hulden Barterson hit the Northern Victory Point. Not bad in the center, punch with G-43s and armored cars and machine gun support. Just hold off a constant push there. Field gun ready to probably fall back, but there you go, only 4 2. Right, covering fire, very good. Very good. Pumps that pin down to the ground, and there you go. Force retreat, taking T4 moving in, getting the church. They're good here. They are the T5 got trapped from the south. There you go. Panther moving in. 11 kills, close to 22. Machine gun crew falling out of the church there as they realize they cannot withstand the might there of Fugon Bartan's T5 for much longer. Slow creeping head, their shots fired, missed. And the center T5 getting the Panther 4 there with furious force. 
Still tons of minis being floated there by Hoodle and Brow to Town. Still no single use of abilities or mines. Really big oversight there. Really big oversight by Hoodle and Brow to Town. Definitely to you know spend those minis on something. And it's certainly surprising there. Keep up with the damaged engine. The choose your rocket launcher is good to go once more there for Hoodle and Brow to Town. She's in the southern point, could lay down flares here and there, and could just cover the entire point with flares with all the munitions he's got, to be honest. Panther 4, they're being fixed up here for PFC. Still on the side of the heavy panzer core, those getting very close to the Tiger race. Bit of a stand up there between Poodle and Barton and PFC. We got 3 and 4 versus 253. Phineas setting out. Still no mines, got a Panther heading in. Up north, point being secured there by PFC and the German army. Getting him close to the Tiger Race. Got packs being hauled in, telemines being laid down. Very consistent mining from PFC. Whereas again, Huda and Barton is just not believing him. t taking heavy damage, and taking on the Panda Four. Didn't quite do much there. Could choose Rocket Launcher to go. Could try and fire around here. I mean, there's a lot of bunch up German troops in a small area, so could choose about how quick work out there. North T5 probably into port pushing through here, but still. Got the machine in there, no artillery support fight support against it, no mortars, no Kichushi rocket launcher doing anything. Flares off here. Maybe actually man's lead on mine then. Not bad, Kichushi rocket launcher firing, or was it the mortar firing it? Don't know. Gonna be disrouted. it. North T5 are pushing out the germs out the building there, going from the northern victory point again. Still should go down more mines if possible. Center is also a bit more open now. Pack shooting here, hoping to catch something, but it is not. T5 being repaired up there for Hulu and Partisan. Kitchen Rock Launch just doesn't cut in any kills. He's actually going for a second one now. A bold choice, but it's got one in the mortar. I'm not entirely sure this is the time for that. Meanwhile, PFC is very close to the target, so still needs the heavy panzer court. Panzer does a panzer can be like, got the Gebalt Ladno. Got Molotov in the turn there. Looks like we go. Panzer's losing out to that one. Southern Northern Victory Point secured there by Hulu and Bart and the Red Army. Six mechanized core fights valiantly against the fascist scourge, and there you go. In PVC space, we got the Hey Panzer Corps going up. The Tiger Race is not far from being ready to be summoned onto the battlefield like a vengeful god. Okay, we got mines going down, then we got Mason Expense. In fact, there's suddenly been a massive dip in munitions here from Hulu and Bart Town. Like, he went from 500 to 200 all of a sudden. It's not like he's been spamming tactical Stumovic runs. So I'm guessing it's mines and whatnot that's being chucked down in uh, significant numbers here by him. Not bad. Definitely something that should have been done sooner, though. But better late than ever. Yeah, just look at that. He's just laying down mines aplenty. More engineers as well. He may also want to mine up the point here, for example. Northern Fuel Point, they're being harassed here by Huda Barton's conscript. But there you go. PC racks with infantry and armor. Oh, okay, yeah. Back to found still. He's expending some munitions on mine, so it's a start. It's probably because he wants to repair this one. And of course, the second year squad. No, he cancelled that. Could always help. Also, still no use of the Stormwick rocket runs. Really should try them out. There you go. Pack about to get wiped out. And there you go. Tiger is ready here for PFC and the German army. Got the second pack void being hauled off there. Can he get away with it? Machine being molotoped as well. Nice little there by who a uh, run Barton against PFC. Interesting to make things more quick here for the Tiger Race alongside this is three. Plus any more mines may lay down. Comes to what I get wiped out. Down to just two comes to definitely promise opponent with themes of scores. Two to two about to go down here, charging the pack and the field gun, getting abandoned here. Punch being suppressed up close by the MD42 Tiger Race from the turn the anti tank runs on that. And maybe go for it with the anti tank rocket run or the rocket runs as well. In fact, it to catch it, he might be able to set off the telemine into retreats over it, destroying it, uh, doing heavy damage to it. But so far, still the use of the ability there by uh, Hulu and Barton versus PFC. Mine, a mortar took out a pack gun there. Other pack gun cleared out with the Tiger Race. Half health though, half health. T4 coming ahead, need to cap, got the Panther from the north. 2-2 two, two, two abandoned, there you go. Quick engage here by the Panther 4 and the T4 to Hood 5. Other T4 coming up. Narrowly avoiding here the telemine there. Panda 4, Vecchi, two shirts up. Kandis moving in, still on the rocket stripes. Can't being hit there by the Tiger Race. Five kills so far. t continuing continue the pursuit of the Panda 4. Kichushi rocket launches. At least one of them is ready. Good hit, they almost got the Panda 4. 
Tiger Racement from the start to deal with it. Still no rocket stripes here from Who Run Bartertown. Almost got the Panther 4 there. T4 being in flank here with the T45. Oh, Tiger Racement is filling up there. You'll see some people that are going to lose on the flank. Please turn out. Three hit there on the tag race. Still no rocket strafes. Feeling about to get cleared out. Main gun out on the tag race. Could take it out. Pop smoke. Does he pursue? Does he call in rockets? No. MD42 in the building there. Could get cleared out with a Molotov. Pack moving up. They're trying to take out the tag race. Then he's in trouble. Getting hammered. Troops being murdered. Their machine gun fire. Almost got it. But Pack gets cleared out by a Panther squad with T43. Plus one there. But PFC gets through. The other T4 for the damage engine as well. Still no sound of the rocket strikes here from Who Run Bartertown. Besides those few mines, his mini McBenger has been so far quite minimal. We've got Nation Farm on the way there. He's also ridiculously short infantry now. Having lost almost everything plus support weapons. He's down to just fat the MD42 and the mortar. In that regard, pretty awkward there for Who Run Bartertown. It looks like he had a strong hand, but in the end, inefficient resource expenditure so there. I feel like proved to be. It's formidable problem there for him. I can feel like if he just caught in some of those rocket stripes at times, I think we would have done that Tiger race, maybe in the Panzer 4 here. So, definite mistake there by Who Run Bart Town. And he still got the victory point lead. He still you know, has a lot of munitions. He's still been able to do a lot of damage to PFC. But it also feels like he's making some rather curious mistakes at the moment here. That is giving PFC way more room to do. What he wants then is this really nice. Another Katusha could get rocket launch starting, particularly the one that wasn't been firing yet. So that's really bad there. By who run Bartertown is still I'm not entirely sure again why he needed the second Katusha. That one just feels like a mystery. Like, what necessary need did you have for it? Mortar about to get wiped out there. PFC strikes hard for the Fatherland. H should find they get good in the Panther 4. Could take it out here. Smoke popped. Sound no more mines here. Sand again, a bit of that other side there. Oh, man, goes on the Panther. Go wiping the G43 Panther again. The mine's really paid off. Almost got the Panther 4 there. Anti tank grenade could possibly finish it off. And the Panther 4 is down to an anti tank grenade. Could choose your rocket badge in the MD42. He's going to need more armor. He's going to need more infantry again. He's going to need more everything. Oh, it's not a rock. It's a. Ah, now I see my issue again. It's not a rocket run. It's just for the guns. But for some reason, it's been recalled, renamed Rocket Run. But it's actually, again, just a cannon strafe run. Jesus, I mean, that would explain why he's not using it against the tanks, obviously, but, you know, he could still use the best the infinite, I guess, and even then, that's no reason for not using mines. Tiger has been heading to the H-5, he's going to need another one out, or at least field guns, he also just needs infantry. Going to be suppressed here, pack for nearby. Damn, it's entering the Tiger race. Pack shoots it, trying to snap the issue fire within Who Run Bartertown's base. We are to the enemy. PC is showing a no mercy for sure. Seizing the point there, very good. More comfortable away there for Who Run Bartertown. The situation is certainly dire now. He's lost a lot, except munitions. I guess I should apologize for that one. Again. That's sweet. It has one name, but the effect is clearly another one. Southern Pontiac Trail, the gun of these MG42 Pine coming up for the mortar. H5 creeping ahead here. PPC holding back his Tiger Race, what we'll get. Panthers, Stooge, Panther Force to assist the Tiger Race. Pack rubbing up there in the issue five. He's got some money from Jack. They're very good. I was going for the uh, mobilizer of serves. Not too shabby, I suppose. Another hand of the Tigers. There you go. Can't make a run for it. And it's a tank grenade. Venting two Tiger Race damage engine. Another hit there. Almost half health. Conscripts dodging a hell of a hit there from the Tiger Race. Eight hit with a gun. Katrusha moving up. Like going to try and take out that pack 40. Snuff out the crew. Like a candle in a storm. Ooh, close one there. There we go. Wiped. Better blow there. More Thomas taking that as well, but Katusha rocket barrage, but not quite there either. 
More infantry there for Hulda and Bradley Town. Need to push ahead here for the Red Arm. The South MG42 pushing back. Well, whatever's left. Four kills, 32. Third conscript out there for who run parts and more mobilized reserves. M42 South has entered the enemy MG42. But there we go. Two men to get out of the arc of fire before we can do anything. Setting up the MG42 now. Are the MG42 setting up to deal with that? Suppressing the engineers and not the MG42. There go. Gets a kill. Mortifying down close to who run parts and MG42 as PFC's MG42 pushes it away. Comes down from the north. The South Machine gets large numbers. H5, they're almost good to go here for who run Badger Town. Could also try to steal a little. Cannon run there. Stuks on the way for PC here. Stumgeschutz. I mean, a pair of Stuks will definitely hands down beat an HD5 tank, so unless you specifically part them outside of the range in the HD5 consistently. PC going for two Stuks. That's definitely very good. Unless you're the same player in the current circumstances. Still, Gruden Bartan's trying to close way there into the battlefield after PFC Snip pushes. Could still do with a bunch of mines there from. Uh, who run bad time first? Dungus it's ready here. And then the pin machine machine to that one. Thumbs up to that there. Back here, troops healing reinforcing for PFC. Tiger is almost good to go. Grab this on the victory pump. Got 23rd feet behind in 20. Situation for run bad is very uh, spicy. And we got the bunker up there with the machine on the way there for PFC as well. And using Norfolk. Field gun on the way there for. Who run Barter Town? Import on the card point. Season the southern point C. No flares. Grand Northern Point with engineers. Could lay down regular mines again. He's got so many munitions, I'm surprised he's not using them. Stu ready in there, so that's two Stumker shots for PFC. Contra there taking an immediate hit there from the Tiger East. 13 kills. Almost got the northern victory point there. Solomon claimed the contract was going to be close, but of course, with the Tiger race nearby, there is very small chance of the contract win that engagement. Infinitely small. H5 on the move here once more for Rudan Barton. Can choose rocket launcher to fight again. And wiped. Quite a blow there to the Red Army in the current sector. Feel good now there. 230 percent and four. Fighting for the south continues. You can drop state there. Heading north it's here. Get you rock long change back. Three kills. Panzer's gonna be is routing them furiously. Stu hanging back. Both Stu's upgraded machine guns. they good. Let's shoot the Soviets. I mean the field gun's gonna be a good pick there versus Stu's, but uh, if he somehow loses the field gun, he's going to be in a bit of a tight spot again. <laughs> Mines up north. Good work there. Comes me again to catch the pioneers. MG42, they're ready to host down the troops to make them run for the northern one. Could also lay down a machine gun bunker up there, to be honest, but probably better than here. That's going to be much easier to up with an entertainment to deal with it, but up north it's going to require pulling his main force away to deal with it. So I feel like a machine gun bunker up here would be a much better choice than in the center. You could also the one in the south that gets that away there from uh, who run Barter Town. Third stu for PFC. All right, he means business. Business to end. I mean, you don't go for three stukes unless you definitely just want to shut the door on your opponent's head and just slam it, you know, a few times over the feet as well. Bank on the fire in the sixth division. Field gun. Could you rock launch firing at the pack forty? I imagine. Yep. Friedrich there blasts into bits. Dieter could follow next if he's not fast out. Bunker down. Tiger is advancing from the south. Engaging here, so infantry. Catching in the middle of the road next to cover and, well, making men's meat out of them. Second age far away. The for who run bad to time. We got 229 versus 76. Oh, we got the <coughs> third Sturmgeschütz out there for PFC. Triple Stug. H5 lands penetrating in the Tiger Tank's front armor and continues about to get wiped out. Hulban Barton is fighting invalidly against the fascist Mike, but so far he's found himself falling a bit short and will likely find himself falling even shorter in the face of Triple Stug. Ready. 
Well, it's the smoke going down there. Oh dear, oh dear. Setting up for an assault possibly here. Or not. Third two gang machine gun. Triple stoops with triple machine guns. Can't take any damage. More three position once more here for PFC. Tigers integrating the conscripts. Stuke setting up for an assault. Field gun turning back to deal with the Tigers, and there go the Stuke's assault. Tack! Sturm geschut, Storm! Vorwärts! Deutschland! Focusing down the veteran, H85 down. Might not want to park up front from the field gun still. H to 5 stand, no chance in the face of the Stumgishus. The machine gun's holding down any bane from Jago. H to 5 down, field and crew about to get murdered as well here. And with that, I think Hudan Patton's chance of the seal. The triple Struga assault proved to be. Well, a bit too much. There you go, GG, game over. A victory for Das Vaterland. A victory for the Stumgishus. Hudan Patton, I think, had us, in many ways not a bad strategy at all, but there were some definite issues in the strategic and tactical level. I again not laying down any mines and just spamming mines one of the things so it's does best so just none of those i think was a big mistake plus double could choose i feel like it's also a massive mistake should have gone for an h5 another t35 there i think the second it catches you there's a significant flaw there in who run power turns plan plus you got two foot in the center not enough out maneuvering his opponents those missions plus again just that bun grenade there but because he got too sloppy there was also i think a significant help there to pfc so there you go, hope you enjoyed this match, hope you learned something from it, if you did subscribe, like, share, comment, and also tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell enemies, and remember to press the bell button. If you like what we do, you can also donate, or pledge on Patreon, and of course a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, allow me to keep doing this on a daily basis, so thank you all, you all are one for all, and so I'll see you all tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye!